are the thumbs of a world champion. Joshua Beguer intends to beat the odds. He wants to calculate his way to winning the World Cup in cyber soccer again. Joshua sets the moves and the strategy. The virtual players look real. Their performance statistics are fed into the computer. People who want to win the virtual game have to know how a given player is performing at any given moment. The game is synced with reality. When something happens in soccer, like if Ronaldo has a bad day or something, it's incorporated into the game and we have to respond accordingly. At the German Sport University in Cologne, Daniel Memat is trying to perfect the analysis of real soccer games. His work is aimed above all at helping coaches, including those at the helm of Germany's national teams. For this, Memat has developed an ultra-fast computer program. The individual levels of analysis run simultaneously on four screens. The program gathers data on the precise position of every single player. That's used to train what's known as a neural network. The program recognizes typical moves in the game and learns from them. Where might a player run on the field? The computer shows those areas in blue. And where will the opponents go? The system computes that as well. The trick is that the computer can recognize if situations pose a threat or not. It involves lots of math, but some people are fascinated by the language of numbers. What fascinates me about our neural networks is that they process loads of data incredibly quickly. As you see here, they can take all this position data and pick out many patterns. And we can combine these patterns to produce a result, either successful or unsuccessful. That enables us to show very quickly which tactical formations and plays work and which ones don't. But it's not yet possible to analyze a game in real time because the players can't wear GPS transmitters. The researchers still have to record games and gather the position data retrospectively. It takes them about six to eight hours to do that for a single game. If the players were wearing transmitters, says Daniel Memert, his computer program could analyze the game almost simultaneously. If you're faster, if you can evaluate the data more quickly, you've got an advantage. You can use the results for the half-time analysis or make them available to the team sooner. This is a competition about speed and we're part of it. In addition, the system is probably more objective, because our own input is very subjective. You can have data entry errors, but I don't think you can trick a neural network. Joshua and his team are hoping to profit from the new analysis methods. With more precise strategy and tactics, they'd have an edge going into the next championship. But whether the game is real or virtual, chance will remain part of what makes soccer so exciting. And even in the future, there's no way a computer will be able to completely predict it.